In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure server-to-server -server authentication for Moodle in conjunction with Zoom, the configuration of the Zoom meeting. This needs to be reconfigured, particularly with the retirement of JWT type of authentication from Zoom starting with September 2023. So typically, you'll get something very similar to this once that connection is no longer working. Now we assume here that you have installed the Zoom meeting version. This is version 5. The documentation for it, and I'll put it in the video description, is down here as to what needs to be configured. So notice that it needs to be a server-to-server -server authentication and it needs to have at a minimum of these permissions as part of the configuration for that app. To configure it, and we can go again to those instructions here, we click on this link, and then once we click on this link, it's going to take us to instructions from Zoom developers. So in order for us to configure it, we need to have a Zoom account, and then we have the permissions in Zoom, to view and edit server-to-server -server authentication apps, and then also change the permissions for various scopes and uh, be able to add apps to the marketplace. So um, we can follow these directions from here, or I'll demonstrate how you can do this from the Zoom application as part of this video. So we go here to the uh, marketplace, so we need to go under Develop here and then select Build an App. Once we cl uh, click on uh, Build an App, we need to select the server-to-server -server type of authentication. We need to click here on Create Name and then click on Create. Once we click on Create, it's going to give us these um, app credentials. So we can leave those as they are at this point and then simply click on Continue. Here we can give it a short description. We can put the company name, the developer information, and so on, and then press continue. Leave these options alone, and then press continue again. Now under scopes, this is where we need to specify the different permissions for this uh, particular app. And for those permissions, you need to basically look in here, like it needs meeting, read, and then admin. It needs meeting, write admin, and so on. So it needs at least these three options as part of the directions. We go back here under scopes, we click on add scopes, and then under meeting, notice down here we have meeting, read, admin. That was one of them. And then meeting, write, admin was another one. And then under users, it needed also the user read admin and again i'm getting these directions from the module for modal for the modal zoom meeting plugin then you can also uh, tag down these additional functionality and add those as well for now for the sake of time i'm going to simply click on done by the way, to add those additional functionality, so notice here it says dashboard meetings. You can simply type dashboard, and it will bring all the stuff related to dashboards. Then we click on continue, continue again, continue, and then activate the app. Now that the app has been activated, we can go back here to the app credentials, and we need to basically copy and paste these uh, pieces of information as part of the configuration for Moodle. So in our case here, if I copy this and then copy the secret as well. Now, obviously, you also need here the URL for your Zoom homepage and save the settings. Notice that the connection now is working. Now, if I go and add a Zoom activity, I can go here, scroll down to Zoom meeting, give it a name, leave all the options alone here, and I press Save and Display. So then once we have created the meeting, we can click on Start Meeting, and then basically host the meeting. 
Now the students on their end, they'll have a blue button here that will say join a meeting. And that's all that there is to the configuration of Zoom integration with Moodle using the server-to-server -server authentication app. If you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and then click on the bell icon.